Oh, hey, dude. Oh, yeah, just totally chilling out over here by the stadium, just on my way to watch the CrossFit. Great, get excited over a towel. Hey, it's a cool towel. This subscriber here just stopped me and said, I'm going on my way to the CrossFit. Oh, these two as well. How are they facing us? Hi guys, I just realized Sam's got my uh, t-shirt. Have you ever been resembled to or been called Korg? Korg? Yeah. No, never even heard of it. What's Korg? Have you not watched Thor Ragnarok? Yeah. Yeah, you Oh, oh hey bro. Oh right, yeah. I'm made of rocks as you can see, but don't let that intimidate you. You don't need to be afraid unless you're made of scissors. <laughs> With a really soft voice. Yeah. <laughs> no, I haven't actually. Beep. Thank, thanks for starting that though. Yeah. Thanks, bro. Oh, Go Korg! Yeah, thanks, guys. <laughs> hey, man. We're about to jump on that ginormous spaceship. How does it feel to win an event? God, no time. <laughs> I'm happy we're doing some CrossFit and I can do stuff like that. I'm starting to feel like I sucked. <laughs> but no, it's, that's a good workout for me. So those ones always stress me out when you know you should win or you should do well. So it's nice when you do. Well, now you're doing it for another family member. So Yeah, that's right. I know. Got to do it for my puppy back home. Do it for the fam. Are you getting daily photos of the puppy? Uh, yeah, I tried to FaceTime Michelle today actually, but like it's, a lot of that stuff is blocked now and you get bad connection. So I got to get my SIM card figured out and get my phone calls in. Because this morning I meant to catch up with them all before we started, but I, they had to send, send me out on my own and go to sleep. Do you have a dog voice? No, actually. I'm, I, I speak to my dog like it's a full-grown adult. <laughs> and like I speak to kids that way. I speak to babies that way. It's hilarious. Michelle thinks it's like borderline psychotic, but it's my style. One day they're going to be an adult and they have to understand. <laughs> Here we are at the athlete cage. As you can see, they're all prowling around. Some of them are warming up. Others are limbering. Some are just chatting. Some are heading out. They have been freed. What? Free, save yourself. Save yourself. <laughs> you don't want... <laughs> you don't really want to be a CrossFit athlete. It doesn't pay well. <laughs> Dude, be a dentist. I stole that. They make the vlog good. You can good. steal yours Fe today. I feed them, you know? Yeah, yeah appearance fee. Well, there's lines. How are you? Um, yeah, good, you? Yeah, good, mate. You feeling good? Yeah, it was fun. It was better than training. Yeah, it's really like good. how much? Uh, like over a minute. Like I went just over 10 in training. So I tried to go as an EMON once and died off. I went out really hard, died off. So then today I was just like, just go by feel. So that turned out pretty well. We didn't talk to you the other day after you won the bike and run event. Like No, I didn't see you. Yeah. You were off uh, jet skiing. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, how does it feel to be so fit? Well, it's like at regionals a few years ago, they were like, oh, are you happy with winning that one? And back then I was like, well, no, like I'll be happy when I come top 10 in a lifting event, you know? And that's still not happened, but hopefully we'll do it at some point. Um, but like obviously now Roman's so renowned for his, for his uh, aerobic capacity, we should say, I was really happy to, uh, to push him on that one. Still insane how he came second in both though. Really insane, he's a fit guy. What's the next one? Oh, snatches. Oh. <laughs> Snatches, yes. Yep. I'm glad when they went, it's 85 kilos. Oh no, wait, wait, it's 80. No, 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 wait, it's 75. I was like, keep going, <laughs> keep going down. <laughs> yeah, one more time, go 60, go 60. <laughs> but no, it should be fun. One thousand and forty-seven. One thousand and forty-eight. <laughs> <laughs> I've been called small. Oh, you're a lot smaller in real life than I thought. Get the pump on before we go. Hi everyone, I'm here now. <laughs> Just inflated yeah. Craig. It's uh, shopping bag syndrome, lat syndrome. <laughs> Event one of the day, tennis. <laughs> no. Wow, look at the rubber duck. <gasps> and amongst the trees, a wild rubber duck appears. Ducks look a little bit different here in Dubai than uh, I'm used to. Hey. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Doc. Today's first event, event five, is the event that I've actually done. 
when we were with Zach. It's the 10 rounds, five unbroken ring muscle ups, unbroken 10 meter handstand walk. They put a time cap on it of 10 minutes. I think I did it in like nearly 14. So I would definitely get time capped in this workout. Covered in. Covered in. Sick content. <laughs> <laughs> Transitions from seven hang to seven power, seven squat snatch, no problem. Event win, Sarah Sigmund's daughter. <laughs> Well, the cameraman was going in the tunnel then. Oh man, that was nice. <laughs> George is beat the George. Yeah. <laughs> Two Georges in the same place. How was it? Really hard. <laughs> Yeah. I didn't get my lungs dry enough. Yeah. So like, finished the power snatch that my heart rate's jacked. <laughs> oh dear. What was the worst part? Squirt snatch. Yeah. <laughs> Those ones at the end. You did six, six. Oh no, you went, you went full go. seven. Did you go touch and go? Uh, yeah, touch and go, but I, I missed a little bit the fourth rep, so I dropped and I did the last three rep. George versus Georges. Yeah, he's winning at the minute. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just swap t-shirts for an event yeah. and then completely bomb the event. Yeah, yeah. I, think I, I thought I was going to have to wear someone else's t shirt so I thought I left mine, but look, it was in Sam's bag. Woo! Yeah. Look at all the media giving high fives on the way out. What a good team, eh? What a good team. Look at you, high five team. High five team, come on. Oh, oh, yeah. wow. There you go. <laughs> That's the athlete's view. Last year people said there wasn't a crowd here in Dubai. This year there's definitely a crowd and it's loud. This whole stand at this end is full. Yeah. <laughs> it's not right in the back. Here he is. I thought about working out at four. I was like, maybe I'll just go work out. Those people, I know there's a few of you that watch this vlog, you are different creatures. Those people that get up and go to the 5.30 classes in the morning. The, the, my, my rule is no barbells before 10 a.m. I'm down for that rule. <laughs> yes. We'll enforce that rule. Yeah, cross it. <laughs> I feel like we already do. We're such athletes. <laughs> yeah, right. um, yeah, 7 p.m. drinking a coffee. O'Keefe life. That's it. Hashtag. <laughs> Manager life. Athlete liaison life. Sanctioned life. You've got, you haven't got enough jobs to do. I ain't got enough jobs to do. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing sitting here? Well, you're hired. You're hired for the rig build. I think I should start drinking. Yeah, that's some right. Coffee. By yeah. the way, you're going to need caffeine for your rig building. Yeah. Craig isn't a very practical person, so if anybody out there has here got any go. tips, here we go. Put Thanks. them below. All right, put just them down below. <laughs> that, makes, that makes me and Matt Fraser. <laughs> We've heard the stories. Help you. No, listen, you can't just put the red road hat on and not do anything. You have to actually build the rig. Team, we're actually going to Waterpalooza to build the rig. I'm not competing. I'm building the rig. For the athletes. But there'd be no competition without the rig, so yeah. There'd be no competition without the rig. You're there'd be no pizza it. without the pizza creator. Which we've decided that I'm the pizza creator. Yes. You're the oven. I'm the delivery man. <laughs> oh, yeah. Delivery oh, man. That's amazing. <laughs> we just filled another three minutes of content team. <laughs> <laughs> Take that. What is happening to the vlog today? Uh, it's falling apart. People are competing out there. We should be doing, we should be out there. You've just got a mini bottle of water. Yeah, look how small these are. It's almost like a shot. We should probably go and watch Sarah's finish. Yeah, we should. Are you good? Am I? Yeah, you're good. Oh! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Move the evidence away. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to see yeah. here. No big deal, Kat just ate two plates of food and on those plates she didn't even know what some of the food was. I asked what it was, he couldn't tell me. It was. She, he said it was an Arabian meal. <laughs> How come you didn't compete this weekend? You flew all the way out, you were ready to rock and roll, but then you weren't ready to rock and roll when it came down so, to it. So. Yeah. I was ready to rock and roll. I was really excited to compete and I'd really like, we've been ramping up my training. I was feeling really good. I was feeling excited to compete. I've been like, I sometimes have these like 
I don't know, like at the games the first day, I'm like super timid, like in the water, and then I go out way too hot, and then I like find my, and I like perform really well, and I just want to perform really well all the time. I wanted to attack the water. I wanted that, um, the muscle-up workout. I've gone so well in training, and I feel like I always do something weird with muscle-ups where I over like think everything. I just wanted to go and do what I've done in training. And, um, and exactly a week ago, so last Friday, I think it was just all the flying. I, my back was stiff, nothing was wrong though, yeah. We talked about this. <laughs> Lying and so us. You know, happens Lying to the best good. of us, huh? Yeah. Um, the best and the... <laughs> the yeah, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, the average. Um, yeah, and it just locked up on me completely. So Friday and Saturday, I wasn't able to move at all. But it, it's happened. But like, training was done. We were ready. Like, I was fit. I was ready. So in my head, it was like, okay, if I can just get my body healthy, I was like, I'll be ready to compete. And I was just hoping for it to like calm down. And it like got a lot better like Sunday, Monday, but then like it, nothing more really happened. And, like come Wednesday morning, I get to the beach, I put like, I had my braids in, I had my goggles on and my swimsuit on and I tried to do a sandbag clean and I, it really, it hurt so bad. And I was like, I couldn't pull it up in one motion. I was like trying to like, it was a hundred pounds. You should yeah. be able to do those 20 like really freaking fast. Jazz and I saw you crying. I did cry. That's how much you care. Oh. I did cry. I felt really sad. Yeah, it kind of sucked. And I, I've actually like never had to pull out of anything before. And it yeah. was just hard that like I've never had to make that decision. And I like this whole. I was like, it was, I was. It was a very stressful weekend because I was like in my head. I'm like trying to like plan on competing, but meanwhile, like I can't stand up or sit down. I was just hoping that like my body would get better, and it wasn't good. But this I was, is like, going to be your first time. And, and, Dubai, been, and I think for like so long, I've been wanting to come here for years. And then I had a shoulder injury last year, and the year before I had my wisdom teeth taken out, and then there was something else the year before. And it's never aligned for me. I felt like I was finally going to be in Dubai. And I think that was kind of blinding me too, where I think I knew I wasn't going to compete, but I kept like in my head, I was like, I, I wish someone would just give me the answer. And I think I had the answer already. I just think I. I didn't want it to be that yeah, one. Yeah, just didn't want to believe it. That. So. I mean, it's sad, but. It's happened. So, what's next? What's the plan for next year? What do you mean next? Um, oh yeah, there is. I mean, there is. <laughs> yeah. I mean, actually, well, we're at the end of this year. <laughs> I think I've really been like so excited for a new year to come. Yeah, I just like I'm excited for 2020. It's been a tough year. It's been a lot going on. Um, I, I wanted to end it on a high note and um, you know get huh. some. You are. You're appearing on a Team Richie vlog. What are you on about? <laughs> Damn right. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Home for Christmas though, wipe yeah. the slate clean, so, yeah. fresh for next yeah. year. Yeah, and, and a fresh like 2020, I like that number too. I'm, yeah. I'm very excited for a lot of reasons for 2020. I just feel like um, I'm coming in like, there's there's been a lot going on, so I feel like I'm, I'm getting to a place where um, I'm very excited for. Yeah. And just like mentally and physically and for what's to come. My plan was definitely Wadapalooza, and now I'm even thinking, um, my plan was to compete and then take a little bit of time off. So not a complete off season, but I was gonna do like a, um, definitely a down season and yeah. just let my mind recover, let my body recover. And just chill a little bit. Yeah, more. and then I yeah. wanted to be ready for Ron Palooza. Now I'm even thinking I might push that back four weeks, which is West Coast. So that's like a new plan that I'm thinking about. Um, so it'll be one of those competitions and, um, and then Rogue and then yes. the games, so. Hopefully we'll be at all of this. So we will see you there. Even West Coast? <laughs> the crappy one? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He's just watching the event. He has no clue. And he still doesn't. Even though I don't get to compete, um, it just started my down season a little bit earlier. Just be a little bit in the sun. Today was literally the first day that I put a bikini on and I just laid in the sun. I was like, you know what? This is actually pretty nice. I, I don't I don't like the stance. <laughs>
it's almost a cliche for people to say, oh, I didn't mean to win the Open, but <laughs> truthfully, I didn't. I mean, I only redid the last workout, and it's because I did the Open announcement for a workout that you could do anything you want. It's Valner there writing a love letter for the dog that he's missing at home. Oh, nice. It's like power snatching, like. <laughs> and I think when we went to jump over at the end, I raked it hard. Oh, oh man, my legs were roasted. I, my last snatch, I like, I was coming down and you just feel, I was like, I have no tension. So I just like stopped on the thighs and just like, boom, <laughs> one and then finished. Oh, it was bad. It's real bad, but whatever. Oh, it was okay. a kid's birthday. <laughs> anyway, it's not what it sounds like. Yeah, carbs and sugar. So it was this, this little boy's birthday and they were like, had him on the mic right as we we're starting the event. Like one minute, we're, we're checking our rowers and they, it's his birthday, they're like, who do you, you want to win? It's like, Pat Vellner. I'm like, oh fuck. <laughs> <laughs> we're about to start a chipper that, we're about to start a chipper that Brent wrote. So I was like, all right, cool. Like, um, <laughs> so we finish and one of the staff comes over, he's like, hey, do you mind if we bring that kid down? And I was like, no. <laughs> That's cool. So he brought me a piece of cake. And I was like, you're the man. I tried to take a bite and I had no spit. And I was just like. <laughs> and then I'm walking out and everybody's asking for pictures. So I just have like blue cake in my mouth. No spit. Like doing the no tea smile. Like. <laughs> oh, it was a good look. Very good look to finish the, the Friday. At least your hair looked good. I'm getting a lot of that. Yeah. I should get my hair cut more than twice a year. <laughs> is he talking to anyone or is... Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. <but> <laughs> <laughs> I saw him before Look when at, he was This is how he's been talking. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a spy? So that one went good. The warm up went really well and you were fresh on the field. Yeah, I tried to just make, stay fresh. <clears throat> it worked. It worked for part of it. Worked until the lunges. You didn't warm them up? No. <laughs> I, didn't really roll, I didn't really warm up much. Uh, I rode like 1400 on the way out. And then I rode like 12 on the way back. It was hard. Like, after the rope, I thought I could use my legs more, but I couldn't. <laughs> so, and I was like, yeah, yeah. If you don't want to break those 20 wall balls up. <laughs> Here we go. Prisoner Burphy. <laughs> One. One. I'm not doing any more. <laughs> too many injured body parts. I was just going to say, those not good for my leg either. <laughs>